got a serious issue with this one and a half million dollar McLaren Senna. Constant issues with this thing. Think we've narrowed it down, but we're not certain yet. But to get to the root of the problem, we need to tear this car apart, which is a nightmare. Like each piece on this car, everything on this car is insanely expensive and it's very much just for the Senna. And this is an exposed carbon Senna yeah. also, which means they spend a ton of extra time making that carbon look perfect. Hopefully we can get this thing over, get it on the rack, put it up in the air, start tearing panels off of it and get to those inlets. And I'll show you the inlets when we get to the other side of the shop, why they're different and why I think that's really causing this issue. But first we're gonna get the car over there to the other side of the shop so we can get started on it. So Steve's getting the Senna on the lift here. You wanna be super careful with this car because obviously it is a carbon tub. And next thing you know, you'll have a puck going through your driver's seat floor if you don't do it right. Mike and I are standing back, letting him handle it. Dude, that is uh, very light and very expensive. I think it'll kind of sit right in there. There we go. Second. There it is, guys. There the new is. hood for the F12. Look at that. See That's through. See through. <laughs> the heart of the beast. It's pretty interesting, though, because it actually has a uh, functional roof scoop. It's down in the sides there. Carbon fiber intake manifold, too. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely one of a kind. They definitely spent a lot of time figuring out how to make this car light. Pretty impressive stuff. It's the elements like this that really make you feel like this car is a hypercar. McLaren's a very different car manufacturer. It really has started with Formula One and then kind of evolved into building cars for the road, right? Yeah, so this car, car on the outside, yeah, looks absolutely insane. It looks crazy, but it's all of the aerodynamics that they did that make it look like this. So they didn't go like, hey, I want the car to look like this. Yeah, is aerodynamics okay? Yeah, it's all right, send it. No, they were like, they spent a lot of time developing yeah. the aero on this car, and that's just kind of how it ended up looking. Can't even rip this thing, what a piece got of the limiter, yeah. What a piece of shit. You know what, I'm not gonna lie, this thing's really comfortable to drive. Like, I put on the massage seat, yep. and you're just cruising down the freeway, getting a little bit of this in the old back. It actually makes me want one for like a daily. But then you know what? I'd have to quit. That'd be the least daily driven exotic thing that I've ever done in my life. We're tackling the issue with the Senna today. Theoretically, if we put the inlets in from what all the data is telling us from the codes, should solve the problem. We believe that the titanium inlet with this rubber slipping off is, is creating a leak. We're gonna take these bad boys out and we'll put the other ones in. It's gonna be done and put back together by the end of this video, which is today. Or well, you don't go home. Cool. <laughs> Damn! If you look at this, it's not smooth. Look on the inside, do you yeah. see that? All the textures. Yeah. Baffles. Baffles on both sides. They're yeah. on this side too. Now look at the difference. Uh, we gotta show you guys this. Check this out. Yeah. Smooth tube. Smooth titanium tube, right? Yeah. There happens to be a couple of There's some nubbins balls. at the end from down there. Point being, the factory ones are very specific. All these chambers are designed to control the way that the air moves. Whatever that's doing, it's freaking the f out. All right, we got one going back in. Got one. So the inlets are not the only issue with this car. We've actually ordered some parts to try to build our own suspension accumulator bleeding system. We've just had so many problems with the suspension on this car. Every time it goes into race mode, it gets stuck and it won't come out of race mode, which requires us to take the scanner over to the car, go through the stuff to get it to work again. So we got new accumulators for it. Inside of here, there's some sort of membrane. You have the oil from the suspension that goes on one side, nitrogen filled part on the other side, goes on top of the shock. I think it's basically a balance to kind of take the shock away from the hydraulic because hydraulic fluid is not compressible at all. So this I think acts kind of like a damper inside of there. Yeah, those the carbon also ones. have nitrogen inside of them. And that's all tied in to the suspension system. All of these control the suspension in a way that the spring doesn't, right? Right, correct. Yeah, so, so there is a spring in there, but a it, shock. Does, it doesn't rely on that. And you still need these though too. Yeah, we need these. You still need those. Yeah. Correct. McLaren, why'd you make it so complicated? Because you have these, then you have these, and look at all the lines that need to run throughout the entire length of the car to make this all work. And all the valves and all the electronics that, that are controlling all that hydraulic stuff. That is seriously complex. Yeah, they put all that in there, and they just could have done some teen coil -over. Could have just got some teens. <laughs> Let's just go take the teen suspension off of Tim's car and put it on the Senna. Put it on here. We'll put this on Tim's car. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tim, here's some more problems. Dude, that's the turbo. Why is it so little? It's not that little. Dude, no, that's the 
tiny. <laughs> Look at it. Is it as big as that? No, Have you ever seen the turbos on my car? Not yet. They're huge. Huge turbos. All right, we're on a mission. We are on. Harbor Freight. We are on a mission. What are we getting, Mike? We need a sandblasting thing that we're gonna use as a pressure slash fluid container. That made a lot of sense. Yeah, don't worry. We're just gonna get some stuff. Oh, <laughs> we have arrived. Yeah. Our border freight is gonna try to create our own DIY homemade kit to pressurize the hydraulic bleeding system on the Santa or the 720 with those accumulators. Hey Damon, what's our next stop? So we got a crazy one. We gotta go to Yoast. Yoast? Yeah, pick up the SVJ. What? Yeah, man. Still don't have a transmission for it. In fact, I think the transmission is lost. Yeah? Yep. So we got a new transmission. We got tracking for it and it's missing. It was supposed to be here a week ago. We've been trying to figure out where it is. Instead of leaving the SVJ sitting at Yoast where they don't have a lot of room, taking up their space, we're gonna go pick it up. And so we're just gonna try to drive it back. <laughs> so it's either gonna make it or it's not gonna make it. Fingers crossed we can find the $60,000 transmission that is currently missing for that car. Let me see your Corvette. Oh, what's up? I always knew one day John would finally work on some cool cars. <laughs> yeah. This is a, a Nozatec Playboy collab color right here. Basically a play on the SE30 Viola. Yeah, it's the 30th anniversary color. color, yeah. I had an idea for doing this color on a certain car. I'll let you guess. I think it looked good. You think Purple's so? kind of in right now, I feel like. Uh, keys? Yeah. I'll get this hunk of junk out of your shop. Purple people eater right here. Yeah, it looks pretty sick, though. And that right there is blowing my mind. Uh, What's that? Look the, at the dash. the dash. It looks like you're driving a bus. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> this is nice, this GT3. But, Mike, what are your thoughts on these uh, like Lamborghini truck wheels over here? Yeah, those are uh, bringing me back to the 80s right there. They've got like two different tread patterns on there. Yeah. It's like a- uh, Super wide, like almost a square wheel. Yeah, very much so. 17, it's probably, I don't know, 14 or 15 inches wide. Yeah. That's so old school, but these tires are only five years old. But very much like, Period this is probably crack. the same mold they used back in the 80s yeah. when they were making those tires. First mission is, can we get to the gas station? That car is completely on fumes. Let's grab the exhaust, let's throw it in the truck, let's see if we can make it to the gas station, let's see if we can make it to the HQ, and then let's hope that the truck actually makes it to the dealership, because it's also having a problem. Yep. If, it was, <laughs> if it's a DD vehicle, it has an engine light on. Like, for real right now. Really? Everything. Even the van's got an engine light on. Yeah. The whole fleet's <laughs> the whole fleet is <laughs> So what do you think? Do you think the stock inlets are gonna solve that problem? I think so. Yeah. I think that's sure. Take care of it. I hope so. All right, he's gonna keep going. Just throw it in and jump out of the way. Hey, it's just the Senate cost. All right. Thank you so much. Of course. As Appreciate soon as that it. transmission comes in, you will be the first person to know about it. Awesome. Sounds good. Mark, jump in your car. I miss this car. It's been a long time. Just driving it, like right here, like this. The sound. Ready? Yeah. It's crazy, man. I'd have to say this car and my 720 GTR are the two hero cars on the channel. But if you guys had to pick one, are you picking 720 GTR or are you picking SVJ? Tell me in the comments. Well, we made it to get gas. That's good. Look at that. Look at that cap. This is a cool cap, eh? Oh, oh, it's cool. It's a Lamborghini. Car wash today? Nah. <laughs> We're riding dirty. Daddy's credit card? That was good. And he's gone. Wait, that's not Mike. Come on. Come on. It's right there. The on gonna ramp make it is in the freeway. right up here. I don't want any more red lights. So I'm hoping we can get to the 405, get on the freeway, hit that express lane, and make it three quarters of the way there, and then we really gotta worry. Cause we're gonna hit that bottleneck. We still gotta figure out, where's my transmission I paid for? <laughs> Dude, this oh, car is so mean. It's so aggressive and it hits so hard. What a fun car. Come on, express lane. And we made it. Express lane for the win. It's not 100%. But my theory is we should be good now until we hit the bottleneck when we come out of the express lane and it goes back to just an HOV lane. We're going to be in rush hour. Hopefully, 
hopefully someone behind us is Mike. Just, he can save us. I don't know how, but maybe we drag the car the rest of the way with the truck. <laughs> Dude, you know there's so some good flames on that one. Oh yeah. It's warm now. Dice, man. With traffic in the middle of the day like this, somewhere up here it's going to get backed up. Probably, if not before, but right at the uh, Long Beach Airport. Bye, Mike! Alright, so we're coming up on the traffic now. Damn. This area is really deceiving. You think you're good, you think you're good, and then right around the corner will be the 10 cars completely stopped. So it looks alright, and then down at the bottom, there they are. It says it's red, but it's actually not. Are we gonna get lucky? Let's go! Let's go! Dude, it's cleared up, obviously. Yeah, we're good. Dude, we're good. Dude, we're good. I think we're gonna make it. There is hope for the SVJ. Oh! That was a big one. That was a good one. All right, we are back at the HQ. Damon's gonna pull the SVJ inside and we got a package here. For one, Mr. Mike Essa. I am pretty sure that this is for his little doohickey that he's making from the stuff from Harbor Freight. We're gonna see what it is. So we have a Gymkhana plate on the back of this car. So this Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, on a dime. That was crazy. All wheel drive donuts just hit differently. On a dime. Look at this. Look at this pattern. Oh my goodness. Like, I was watching the car turn around there and I was like, oh crap, dude, that is dime. all we all drive. Cool. Hey, welcome back. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. How insane does that look in person? Insane, that, dude. And the speed that it's going yeah, dude. too. It's like, it's, it's like, like you're in a else. washing machine on spin cycle. We actually lost you pretty quick because it smoked so much because all four tires are going that yeah. you were just a puff of smoke. Dude, but that you can was hear it. Crazy. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Oh shoot. Front wheel donut oh shit. Whoa. That's sick. Car didn't like that. This is giving me gumball Scotland vibes right now. Like now it doesn't want to start. Yeah, we had to jump it last time. This car was all types of misery over in the UK, but it was fun. Gonna unwind the donut. Yeah, I'll do it the opposite way by pushing it. <laughs> that was already broken. Steven! <laughs> oh yeah, dude, my tuxedo's up here. Hey, what? Hey, 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 yeah, dude, I forgot about tuxedo when we were in uh, Venice. Put it on. But guess what? Yeah, Fuck but did, these. didn't we have, didn't we, couldn't we jump it from the back? This car has been through some shit. This car has been through some This car will never be sold. This we need to find out where the missing transmission is. Oh, so yeah. that we can either do an insurance claim or it got returned to sender. I don't know. But at this point, we don't know where it is. $60,000 gone. Yeah, it's a huge problem. I thought I lost it. How do you lose a tuxedo? Ask DD. All right. Got any money in there? Get hands off me. Get any money in there? Ready? I'm ready. It's gonna be a shocker. Mm -hmm. up, David. What if we don't fix the SVJ and that's just its thing? Like it's just like a lottery when you drive it. Let's see how how far we can go until it's just done. I would do gumball again with you in this car the way it was. We'll send it to. Eight. I mean, it does run. No, but it's so. but at some point it could just stop working out. Yeah, I don't think so. You don't think so? I think cars has character. <laughs> Dude, that was so stressful that trip. <laughs> what are you talking about? It hurt more being squeezed than the actual 12 volts. That was weird. It's just cranky slow. Yeah. We're getting closer. Let it cool off. Let it cool off. And Let now. the van run. Let it charge the battery. 
I mean, we can. I think so. Yeah. It's not gonna hurt it. All right, Steve, how are All we right, doing? Yeah, Steven, are we done? They're in. Not <laughs> done. <laughs> what do you mean? Start it up. How was that? How was it? How was they're the? Uh, they're not that bad. Wasn't that stressful? Not that bad. Do you feel that this is gonna solve the problem? Well, let's go drive it after I'm done. Hopefully, I think so. I think it is. I want confidence, Steven. I don't actually pay you to fix things. I pay you to make me feel good about maybe I fixing things. I think it things. does. I think it does. Thank you, Steven. I think it. I think it does. <laughs> I think it will. It'll be good. Yes. Let's go. What are we gonna fix the van? The van needs some love. Come on. The van needs a lot of love. Oh, no, is it that look in his let's eye? Say, we are getting new tires for the van, so I have suspicions. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I like where this is going. That's nice. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, man. The car didn't like that, though. She was no, it was upset. Way. Dude, look at it. I just moved the van out of the way and it came all the way down to the concrete. That's crazy. <laughs> Best time to the channel. And so many memories, like, it's weird because we did gumball and the car was gone for however long. And it's been back a little bit, but not really. And I was just going through the actual passenger compartment, finding like little knickknacks and gifts that you guys over in the great UK and Europe gave to us. Lots of memories in that car. Definitely a car that never be sold. It sucks with the transmission. So, I mean, it runs sometimes and it does, and you really can't trust it. So basically it's useless. And we have to decide what car we're bringing to Gumball in September. We don't know yet. I think Dan wants to bring the SVJ, but if there's no transmission for it, then I'm not doing that again. And then this time we have to make sure we're organized and actually plan ahead. I've already emailed them saying, hey, when does a car have to be on a ship to go there? Because shipping it by sea was like four or five grand, by air was 25. Yeah. And Vietnam might be a lot more than that, I don't know. Unfortunately, a lot of the cars are down right now, so like, if you look around, there's not really anything to drive. We're not gonna hit the squadron course on Gumball. It needs to be a bigger car and more of like a loud crowd pleaser. But should be the SVJ, we'll see. A little close to that wall at one point. Transmission or no transmission, she still slides. She still slides. Maybe that just becomes the block beater. Yeah, it's true. Oh but another and this is the SVJ. new rally car. Or by another SVJ. Yeah, two. I got you. Stupid. We have a transmission that we finally paid for. And now we have a car that's sitting here. I found but a transmission it. Gone. I found it sort of. You found what sort of? I found the transmission sort of. How did you find the transmission? Courier has indicated that it's missing. A search has been initiated under items as of this morning. So there's an alert saying that they know it's missing. So it's gone. They're aware it's missing. So they know they don't have it. So they know they don't have it. We know we don't have it. We know that they know that they don't have it. But we have no problem. Yeah. 60 grand. You know what the ironic part was? It drove all the way here, didn't have a single problem. And here's my theory. When it's not fully warmed up, the liquid's thicker. So it doesn't leak as easily. So it doesn't happen right away. And if you drive it for whatever reason in a higher gear and you've got a constant speed on the freeway, it doesn't do it. It only does it when you start to slow down below a certain RPM range and you're in the lower gears, either first, second, or third. I've never had it happen to us on four, in fourth gear. It is the most bizarre thing. But they're like, oh, it's leaking internally in the transmission. How's that possible? Why wouldn't it just do it in any gear? But where's the fluid go eventually? It has to go somewhere. It goes in the transmission. It's leaking internally. It bothers me so much that this car is not running because it's insane. It looks cool. I still love this livery. I love the wheels that AL13 made. I love the way it sounds. 
But in the meantime, I don't really want to take it anywhere because when you do get stuck, it does suck. Yeah, be on the freeway. And, and you're a huge inconvenience yeah. to everybody else on the road. Like the car's not moving, it's a brick. How is the Murcielago the most reliable car we own right now? It's beyond scary. The 2003 Murcielago, Arizona and back, no issue? No issue. We need to find the transmission for this. And if we can't find it, we need to file a claim sooner than later so we get the f money back and we buy another one. Which is gonna take forever, dude. An insurance company is not gonna be no, quick. Dude, dude. Months. It's months. How's the Senate doing? Let's go check on Steven. <laughs> How we doing? Steven! All day, all I see you doing is putting the Senna up and down, up and down. Talk to me. Going for road test. Road test. Road test. Game on? Game on. It's gonna fix it. It's gonna fix it. All right, Steven. Time to check your work. <laughs> Time to check the links. You feeling confident? I am feeling confident. How confident? Cocky or confident? Cocky. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I'm pumped for you if this car actually comes to fruition for you. Dude, yeah. I, I love hate relationship. I, you know what? Uh, every car at DD is like that. have some success. I feel good about this because I was really bummed out about the transmission being lost, which I'm still bummed out about because not only is my SVJ not going to get fixed anytime soon, we're also at $60,000. That's gonna be a headache. But in other news, the first thing Steven, our new tech has officially corrected is the Senna. Dare I say that? We haven't gone for a very long try, but it seems to work. I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, he did work on them at the dealership and he's certified. Yes. This car, nothing wrong with it, runs amazing, needs a service, but it's so low and there's no jacking points because the jacking points are the air jack. We can't figure out how they service this car like with oil changes and stuff because it needs to get higher off the ground. That's why all the body panels off of it. On a side note, Dave hasn't seen this yet. So let's get Dave's reaction. Now I'm not gonna show you what it is. You have to stick around to find out. But this is like 130 hours in design. God knows how many hours in labor. This would be a very, 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 very 
expensive, if not possibly the most expensive part that will go on that car. Get Dave's face. Probably a bit close. Okay, you ready? Ooh, that is sexy. How much was that? Because it would have started out as a 400 pound block. Dude, that is, I've never seen anything like that before. Touch it. <laughs> oh. And it came from halfway across the world. That's gonna be cool. Centerpiece, right? Oh, bro. I have many thoughts I can't say because you guys are watching right now. There'll be a whole video on this, so stay tuned for that. April's about getting these cars that are broken running again. Yep. We have a few, we have the 599s. I have to fly something up here for that because the ECU issue. If you missed the video, basically we copied an ECU, which apparently is a no-no. You can't buy new ECUs for those cars. <laughs> you can't buy used ones either, so we have to make it work. We're going to stand alone. This car, Mike has a goal to have this car running in like the next month and a half. Yeah, because all the big fans. We, we also keep pulling him off of building this to do other things. We had a fan stop by earlier, we gave him a little tour, and he was like, man, this is not red. This color is so much more pink in person. And a really good way of being able to justify that is when you see this next to a red car. Yeah. Or next to a red bench. Like how much this is pink and pops. The problem is camera doesn't really pick it up. <laughs> this gets everybody, by the way. Everybody. You know, it's like a boxing. No, 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 it's hanging, it's gonna fall in a car. <laughs> So what's next for the race car? I mean, what can we do to these race cars? We had the, the GT4, Supercharger. we had the race car. Do you want to supercharge it? Oh I don't know if Nick could do that, but that'd be wild. Uh, I think Nick could you imagine supercharging this? Here's the truth. You guys know, I actually got this car because I was going to turn it into a Jim Conda car. Yeah. Like some crazy, yeah. like, unicorn level car. Then I got it. Then I drove it the way that it was. And I was like, this is a new experience. This is a real race car. I like it. I can't destroy this anymore because this weird part of my heart about being a car enthusiast doesn't want to wreck something that's so perfect from Lamborghini. And there's there's the two race cars we have. Generally, we love. Yes. And it doesn't make the most sense for you two. No. We're like, this is just... We just enjoy this. It's yes. like, it's like the, the benefit of doing what we do, doing a track day. We yeah. still film it, but like, we don't do it because this is the most viral content in the world and people are gonna lose their minds when they see us on a track. We just love it. And when we're at the track, generally excited, that's all real. We actually also don't really go out of our way to try to make viral content. No, at all. I know. We've traded that mindset for what's consistent yeah. that we can do on a consistent basis. That's more about our lifestyle and what we're doing and these fun ideas. But I don't sit down because I have ideas that I could make super crazy viral videos with, but I don't engage any of those really because it would take a lot of time, a lot of money to build something and do something that goes completely viral when it's so inconsistent. Like I could make a video that gets 10 million views, yeah. right? It might take me three weeks to do that, but I have more fun filming the day to day, hanging out with the boys, doing more genuine stuff. And in that three weeks, I can make smaller videos that make 12, 13, 14, 15 million views. Yeah. So I actually get more views in the end and I have more fun and we get to film more of it and there's more benefits and more write-offs. And so, you guys yeah. get content every day as a result. Like you don't wait the video once a month. Every morning, 6 a.m. PST, you get content to watch. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, <Mark>. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for a cost? So we're gonna get the cars working. It's been a lot lately of broken cars. And like, you know what's really cool? Go look in my car. My car's done. All the interior's back in. Tim was killing himself getting this car together. Steven was helping him. And it's really impressive. I know it's taken a long time, but this car was done all in house. Yeah. Where the other guys came in, like the guys from EAG actually came here and built this car. Our team built this car. And even just cut the, like there's supposed to be a special dash and everything that goes to cover all that. And I said, that dash, I don't care. Keep that center console, cut it up the way it needs to be done. I wanna see all the stuff underneath. I yeah. think it looks cool. It's not finished, but it's very DD. So three pedals, the gates in there, interiors are pretty much all back together, the handbrake's in there. We just gotta figure out the ECU thing. Michael S is gonna finish power steering pumps tomorrow. And that's it, man. Like we're really close to having these cars I have back. a deadline, I have an idea. We're doing a rally next month together with our wives. What if we took matching 599s? Uh, matching? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sold on that idea yet that I want to drive this cross country. Yeah, I don't want to do this. Straight pipe is really loud. It sounds miserable driving a manual car for 3,000 miles. That's why we should do it. You haven't driven the new clutch yet. No, I haven't. Yeah. So you don't know how rough it I actually is. I don't really is. know what it's like. It might be really crappy. And the squad, of course, is also a great rally car. That's true. I was thinking about taking the Mercy. Do Mercy and Squad are the same generation? That'd be sick. Dude, we did that rally in the East Coast. Yeah, and then I popped the clutch ago. and remember yeah. the, the, the bolts came out. Yeah. 
fell off. So we did a rally 2019, 2018 together, and he had the Mercy logo, I have my Squadra Corsa, and then he had a finish rally in my car with me. So I think it'd be cool to bring the Squadra back to the East Coast, put some miles on it. Hopefully I don't have to finish inside you again. Well, there's four of us this time, so that's gonna be the challenge.